Hey everybody, what's going on? I was at work the other day just kind of goofing around on my computer um, and one of the guys came out and was talking to me and I was actually being bored just kind of switching through scrolling through my wallpapers with my little icon up here and he thought that was kind of cool, asked how I did it so I figured I'd just uh, create a little video here to show you. It's nothing too impressive. It's really <laughs> kind of dumb but um, think maybe some people can get some use out of it or uh, whatever I figure why not so let's go take a look out of it uh, basically I just created a little script here uh, we'll worry about this side in a second but this here is my little script I called it bgd.sh um, or just bgd um, basically it's just a bash script um, just created a variable in my directory uh, as my home pictures wallpaper directory that's got all my wallpaper stored in it um, created another variable bgd um, which basically what it does is it lists out this directory that uh, dollar sign dir is just calling on this variable here which is my home pictures wallpaper so it lists out the home pictures wallpaper file and it pulls any of the dot jpg images and it pipes them into the shuff command which will basically shuffle them all up and um, just kind of randomize them and then the N1 it will at random just pull a wallpaper that uh, you know, like I said at random and once it does that cat concatenate will actually take and it inputs it into a file that's created in my home jake.config slash wallpaper dot jpg so once it pulls one of my wallpapers basically it stores the wallpaper it pulled in the .jp or in the uh, wallpaper.jpg file in my conf .config directory um, and then once it does that I use a program called xwallpaper and xwallpaper then calls that file to set it as my wallpaper so like I said it's a really simple script um, just list your directory um, and then call that directory with the, the bgd command and pull it or pipe it into chef randomly pull one then cat that uh, wallpaper that it randomly pulled into the wallpaper.jpg file and then x wallpaper actually calls on that to set my wallpaper so really quite simple um, but it's kind of handy um, actually if you Look, I've got it set up here in my bar to an icon, or I actually have a key binding set up to actually change it from my keyboard as well. Um, but if we go back to here, um, like I like I was saying, this here is my xmobar config file. I'm running xmonad uh, as my um, window manager right now. I live in that mostly. Um, I have about nine or ten different window managers on my system everything from rat poison to i3 to awesome and xmobar dwm qtile spectrewin specter wm um, i'm kind of addicted to just going through and goofing around with them um, some people might say i have a problem but i'm going to be honest with you this is kind of how I'm learning a lot of this is I'm just putting stuff on my computer and then I get in the config file and mess around with the, the things and kind of just see what happens. Um, I'm a hands-on kind of guy. I'm an automotive technician, so <laughs> uh, that's what I do for a living is uh, I get my hands dirty, I get on things, I tinker with them, and um, like I said, getting into the different config files of the different uh, window managers has been greatly helpful to me. Um, so just kind of going through and learning, you know, Qtile's written in Python, so you learn a little Python in that. Um, Xmo, Xmonad's written in Haskell, so you learn a little Haskell. Um, I'm not proficient in any of them by any means, but, um, you know, if you go into Awesome, it's written in Lua, so you get a little bit of Lua experience. Um, there's a few that are written in just kind of shell script, which is kind of cool, so you can go through and learn a little there. It's just kind of neat going through the different config files. So, yes, I have, I have a few... Uh, window managers on on the system um, and probably soon to be more and I gotta say um, as a caveat here I installed rat poison I don't know four or five days ago and that window manager gets a bad rap but I gotta tell you I like it <laughs> it's 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 different I'll give it that but it is it's pretty cool so 
just heads up, if you're like me and you like trying out stuff, give uh, Rat Poison a try. You know, it's going to be something that you either hate or that you love. I, I don't think there's going to be anybody that's like, man, it's okay. But anyway, I digress. That kind of went off onto a, on a tangent that uh, has nothing to do with this video. But anyway, back to, the, uh, back to the issue at hand here. This is my Xmo bar uh, config. And basically, if we scroll down here and we go down to the bottom line here, uh, this is my template. This basically, if you come across here, it's going to list um, the different colors for each of these right here. These are the separators. You can see I had kind of enclosed each section of my bar um, in square brackets just to kind of keep things separated and just because I got bored one day actually and was goofing around. Um, but basically if you go through there, that, that the uh, FC is the font color for that separator and then right here where it says action equals the command, um, that actually makes the uh, icon clickable up in the bar. So if we go all the way to the end here, by the way, um, if you're trying to scroll to the end of the line in Vim, um, the dollar sign, so shift four, if you press the dollar sign, it'll get you to the end of the line. Uh, but anyway, if we go down here, we can see right here, it's kind of hard to see because it doesn't show up right, um, but I have this icon right here in the line. And you can see right before we have the action call in between the, uh, the uh, I don't even know what those are called, less than and greater than sign. Uh, can't call me stupid, correct me if you want, but that's, that's what, I can't think of what they're called right now. But uh, you can see I have action written down here, which is going to call for the clickable action on that. And I have my script written, BGD, right there. So every time you click on this, it changes the wallpaper because in my Xmo bar configuration I have it set to have clickable icons and the action line in the script or in the uh, file will pull that command every time I click on it. So kind of convoluted uh, explanation there. I, I apologize for that but uh, that's just kind of kind of a stupid little thing I got going on on my system. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a God, shoot me for saying this word, a ricer. Um, probably the first and last time you're ever going to hear me use that term. But uh, I do like to mess around. I like to configure my system because I like to be comfortable in my work environment. And whether that's a you know in my bay at work, you know my stuff is organized, my toolbox is set up a certain way, my tools are laid out. You know my I have a workflow in my in my bay at work. Um, I know what I need to do, I know where my stuff is, and I can just, half, half the stuff I can do is basically muscle memory. I can just do it. And I'm going to be honest with you, the same goes for my computer work system. I have things set up, my key bindings are the same in every single one of my window managers, except for Rat Poison, I'm working on that right now, but um, that one works a little different, it's got an escape sequence and then your, uh, your key. Um, but again, I digress. It's getting uh, off off topic on that. But um, basically, everything is the same as far as key bindings and stuff like that. You know, it might be look a little bit different aesthetically, but each one of them is pleasing to me. I, I like the looks of it. I'm comfortable working in it. And you know, it's the same as anybody that works in an office. And you know, you hang pictures on the wall. You do all kinds of stuff like that. But nobody wants to work in a boring work environment. So while I might not customize my desk or my system to the extent that I'm on Unix porn or whatever sites those are to you know show off these windows that are completely useless because they're so small and you've got about 15 of them on the screen I do customize my system to be aesthetically pleasing to me and to complement my workflow as much as possible but anyway that's kind of a multi-topic uh, video here um, but again, a uh, nice simple bash script, like I was saying, just to, to create, or a simple script to create a wallpaper changer on your system that's nice and easy, you know. Um, there are lots of wallpaper chamber changers you can go and use. Um, and even with this script, you know, I have X wallpaper. You can use Fay or Nitrogen or whatever else to call here instead of X wallpaper. But I just use X wallpaper. Um, 
and you can use those on their own too. Variety, you can download, I believe it's the Variety Wallpaper Changer. It already has an icon that'll go up in your sys tray or whatever, but um, again, uh, I'm the type of person that uh, I like to, I like to do things. I'm, I'm extremely not new to Linux, you know, like I said, I've been doing this for a few years now on the system and lived in Linux for a few years now, but I am fairly new to like shell scripting and creating stuff like this. So a lot of times instead of downloading something or installing something, I like to try to just write it myself. Um, does that work? No, not usually. I have a few things like my update script um, for my system and stuff like that that are very basic that just basically call a couple commands to uh, clean up orphaned uh, packages and uh, resync my mirrors and do stuff like that. But those are very, very, very basic. It's just a couple strings of commands together and 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 that. But I like to get in and try at least try because how am I going to learn if I don't try? So anyway, uh, I hope this was somewhat uh, interesting for you, and uh, I hope maybe you can get some use out of this simple little script here. Um, if not. That's <laughs> that's fine too, I guess. But uh, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a have a great day and uh, God bless.